Welcome back to the Hall of Origins. Today we're returning once again to the Mario series to take a look at a character who honestly deserves more attention than what he gets. Now before we talk about the main shroom himself, let's talk a little bit about his species in general. In the Mushroom Kingdom, there are a peaceful race of humanoid fungi citizens known simply as toads. Childlike in their appearance, but don't let that fool you. Even though they are small, toads are fully capable of performing any type of job, like building castles, driving vehicles, or cooking delicious foods. Aside from their color palettes and clothing accessories, the majority of toads are identical. And might I say, it is freaking adorable that toads have no legs and their feet just come out of their bodies. To heck with Grogu, toads running in a circle is peak cuteness. Now, it's been debated whether or not the mushroom on Toad's heads are hats or part of their bodies. Most of this comes from the episode Tag Team Trouble of the Super Mario Bros. 3 cartoon series, where Toad is seen taking off his mushroom, officially announcing to all the Mario fans that this is, in fact, a hat. However, decades later, Super Mario Odyssey producer Yoshiki Koizumi stated on Nintendo's YouTube channel that the mushroom on Toad's head is, in fact, his head, and he can't take it off. Huh, how about that? That explains why we see them wearing hats on top of their mushrooms. But of course, Toad taking off his mushroom in the cartoon is considered non-canon to the video games. But speaking of which, the cartoons also brought with it a wide range of Toad designs. Some are skinny, while others are wide. There's muscular Toads, mothers with baby Toads. There was just so many different ones. I actually liked all the types they came up with. So I guess it's really a preference if you like all your toads to look the same as they are in the video games or the variety of the different ones from the cartoon. Okay, so in the story of Super Mario Bros., the toads have been around since the beginning. Most toads, or mushroom people, or mushroom citizens as they are sometimes called, serve the royal family. The king and his daughter Princess Peach. Yeah, this is back when the king of the mushroom kingdom was a thing. So everyone was living happily until Bowser, King of the Koopas, burst onto the scene, kidnapped the princess, and turned all the toads into blocks and horsetail plants. And if you're wondering what horsetail plants are, it's these things right here. Yeah, seriously, I just found out recently what horsetail plants were. Yeah, those plants and blocks of the first Super Mario Brothers are toads. Kind of feel bad about doing this, don't you? However, seven toads remained unchanged, Princess Peach's royal retainers, each one of them captured and put into a different location so they can say the iconic line, Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. Okay, so this episode is supposed to be about Toad, right? I mean, like, THE Toad. So why haven't I brought him up yet? Well, this may sound surprising, but Toad as a character didn't make his first appearance until Super Mario Bros. 2. Yet, yeah, none of these toads you see in the first game is THE Toad. While some fans believe that Toad is in fact one of the royal retainers you save at the end of the castles, officially, Mario 2 marked his debut in video games. So in Mario 2, you play as four different characters. Mario, Luigi, the princess, and as I already stated, Toad. And each character is different in their own way. For Toad, he is stronger and faster than the other characters, but he can't jump as high. In my opinion, because his jumping ability isn't very good, choosing him to go through the game with provides the toughest challenge. But that's just me. So after Mario 2, Toad disappeared again, and for Mario 3, was once more replaced by a variety of different Toads in various locations. Mostly they could be found in Toad houses where you could pick an item that would help you out. Yeah, lots of mushroom people, Toads, but the actual Toad is nowhere to be seen. And honestly, that's basically how it stayed for quite a while. This is around the time that Toad was becoming more famous for his out-of-video game appearances rather than his in-video game appearances. The Super Mario Bros. Super Show was now broadcasting, and with it mostly being based off Mario 1 and Mario 2, Toad was now shown in a main character role, voiced by John Stalker. Oh no! Koopa flew to Koop! And of course, I guess I should mention Toad's appearance in the live-action Super Mario Bros. movie. Oi. Okay. So in the movie, Toad is a musician on the street who plays a song for the Mario Brothers, which gets him arrested. And then, he gets turned into a Goomba. Yep, that's Toad's big theatrical debut! I hope you get treated better in the Illumination version, Toad. Well, we'll see how that turns out. So back to the video games. In 1994, Toad was given for the first time a starring role in the NES and Super Nintendo game, Wario Woods. 
Now if you're not familiar with the game, Wario has taken over a section of the wilderness and Toad is like, oh heck no, and goes to defeat him in a game similar to Tetris. Yeah, this is kind of weird. Oh, not the game itself, or Wario being the main antagonist, but Toad being the hero of the game. It's just an interesting choice for Nintendo to make. At this point, Toad was only a character to assist in the progression of the game, not the driving force, and his only starring contribution was Mario 2. So it's just odd that the role of taking Wario down would go to Toad and not Mario. However, I did notice that in the instruction booklet, it lists Toad as the Mushroom Kingdom hero. But as every fan knows, that title is for Mario. Wait a minute, is this some kind of timeline thing? Where Wario Woods takes place before the original Super Mario Brothers and the two plumbers haven't made it to the Mushroom Kingdom yet, and thus Toad is all the mushroom people have? Huh, interesting. Well, maybe I'm reading too far into this. So the next year, in 1995, Toad did take the spotlight in one more game. Unfortunately, it never made it over here to America. It was called Canopio Live. Canopio, for those who don't know, is Toad's Japanese name. In this game, Toad and his band perform a list of famous songs, and the player has to guess what song it is. Like one example is Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. I don't know, hearing Toad sing that... And yes, yes, I know he didn't have that voice yet. <laughs> it's just funny to think about Toad singing popular songs of the day. <laughs> but speaking of which... What's this icky paint like goop? It's moving! That iconic squeaky, gravelly Toad voice was provided by actress Jen Taylor. At first, before Samantha Kelly became Toad's new voice, which she still does today. Unfortunately, when it comes to starring roles, Toad really hasn't been given another one since the 90s, and before anyone freezes the video and types, what about Captain Toad? Captain Toad and Regular Toad are actually two separate characters, which means that Captain Toad deserves his own separate video. So I guess I'll get to that sometime. So you might think that after all this, Toad fans don't really have much to go off of. And while I would say that it is true Toad is mostly a secondary character in the mainline series, where he really strives is in the sports games. It's great that Toad is involved in all of these, and not just allocated to secondary roles which he mostly takes. And sometimes the Toads, maybe not THE Toad, are invited to take part in the main adventures. I remember when I first saw Super Mario 3D World, and I was like, why is Blue Toad in there and not regular Toad? and come to find out this was actually a callback to the original adventure these four characters had in Super Mario Bros. 2, where because of graphical limitations, Toad was depicted as a Blue Toad. So the designers chose to put Blue Toad in as an homage. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. And hey, you can now meet Toad in person at Super Nintendo World in Universal Studios Japan. Look at how adorable he is! Oh, he's so cute! And he even has his own restaurant where you can try a variety of Mushroom Kingdom courses. Oh, these things look so delicious! Ugh, I can't wait to go here! So, at the end of the day, Toad is more of a background character compared to the Mario Brothers and Peach, but that doesn't mean he still doesn't play a large part in the franchise. Both he and his species prove that you don't need to be big in order to be important. You just have to have a huge heart, a carefree attitude, and be freaking adorable! Aw, oh, man! <laughs> We love you, Toad.